Hi there, Rigar here from Rigar's Garage and Boat Basin. And today I'm working on the, some of the gritty white parts. Um, I've got a big pile of uh, Yamaha rigging for two OX66 250 horse outboard motors. I'm trying to figure out what this stuff is for. Take and watch the video, I'll show you what I found. Hope you enjoy this episode. Thanks for watching. What I've got here, I've got two Yamaha 250 horse OX66 outboard motors. Along with that, I've got this, this box full of rigging. I have no idea what this stuff is. And so I'm going to show you, I'm going through and I'm labeling what it's used for, where it comes from, what it is. I mean, there's throttles, there's gauges, there's all kinds of things in here. Uh, we're going to find out what they're used for and and how to put them together. Now, my first resource was the service manual. That kind of gives an overview of uh, what what goes where and, and how to work on the engines. Now, the other thing I found online, a rigging guide est estimate. I printed this out, and if you come down here, you will find... Uh, cable information for example I've got these cables and they are labeled 20 feet now at let's just take one here at one end is this connector it's got 10 pins at the other end we've got uh, two connectors uh, one with six pins, and obviously, this one's got to have, huh, this one's got more than six pins, too. This one's got two, five, uh, looks like seven pins. So if you go over here, under 10-pin harness, 20 foot, you'll sit there and see uh, there is the part number, and here is the picture for the cable. Uh, since this being a dual setup, uh, the 10-pin ends go to the engine. That makes perfect sense. Uh, the other ones would go here to the throttle and gear shift, and this is the uh, key start assembly. So the part number for these R688 8258A 60 00. One mystery solved. Okay, so what I did, I got some address labels and I, I wrote down what it connects to. Uh, basically, it's, it's these two connectors go to the switch plate and to the throttle control box and put the description on and attach it to the cable. So it gives me an idea of, of uh, what the part number is and where it goes. I would have thought that Yamaha, well, I've looked on the roll of cable and I haven't found uh, a part number uh, stamped on here. But So I'm hoping this will uh, do the trick for each one of the cables. Okay, I'm working on the next cable here. I uh, pulled this next one out of the box. Uh, kind of unknown. But if you take a look, basically it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten pins. And uh, if you take kind of a, a look at the connector here, seems to have a little bit of, of dirt in the cable. Oh, it's actually, uh, it's actually grease. I'm assuming they're uh, protecting the when it was used these are all used cables so it's protecting the the pins against uh, corrosion so i've got a a cable here uh 10 pins and if you take a look it has the uh same kind of connectors it's got uh six in one right here uh six pins and this other uh, two, five, 
and uh, eight pin is kind of hard to see in there. So I'm going to assume this is is a control cable of some sort. Uh, so next thing I'm going to uh, examine the the cable and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clean this thing. I'm sure this is something really exciting for all you YouTube viewers uh, cleaning a cable but I want to uh, clean it and uh, then I'm gonna look at it appears to be some some strange tape red tape I'm assuming this was a marker for uh, one of the engines to uh, show which engine was right, uh, uh, right and which engine was left. So somebody put a red marker on it. Seems to be a, a good idea. I'm sitting here cleaning the, the cable with uh, 409. Um, I just want to get the dirt off. I'm looking for any kind of marks. I'm looking for any kind of cuts that uh, might make the cable not usable. This has all been in a box, so it's kind of tangled up. Dirty. Dirty, dirty. Let's uh, keep on going here. I can see it's probably been in the bottom of a boat. Okay, the, the cable is uh, clean. I haven't found any any problems with it other than it's marked. Next thing I need to do is to determine the length. Let me grab the tape measure. So I'm going to uh, sit here. Try to figure out the approximate length of this cable. Well, we've gotten all the way up to five feet here. I'm kind of doing this uh, a little off to the side. feet and that's uh, 25 feet so I've got this mark Got a, I've got my hand on the cable at uh, 25 feet. So 
so at, uh, we're starting at uh, 25 feet plus two. Plus four, plus five. Uh, we're looking at a 30 foot table. And some fuzz off the floor. Okay, so we got a, a 30 foot table. So if I look at the chart here, uh, there's a 26 or a 31. Here, let me show you right here so we've got 61b 8258a-01-00 is the cable uh basically the cable type so what i've done is i've identified the cable and now what i'll do is uh get a little um uh label and I'll take the label uh, put it on the cable identify the cable and the length so I know what I've got and put it in the uh, the box here uh, if you take a look uh, tidy cat uh, I've got cats uh, to uh, got a total of about 35 pounds of cats in the house so yeah got plenty of those so what I'm going to do is let me get the uh, the label, put a label on it, and I will inventory uh, each one of the cables. And what I'll do is I'll get back to you uh, once I get all the cables inventoried and identified on a list. Uh, I don't think that's too exciting, so I'll do that off camera. So what I'm doing is I've got these uh, Avery labels. You see where they peel off their address labels. I just bought these from uh, Staples. And I'll take and write the uh, part number on it and the length on it and what the cable is. So I uh, know what I've got to work with. Okay, we got an interesting cable here. Let me get the other end up here. In general, this appears to be a, a control cable that goes to instruments. Uh, however, if you look at the other end, whoever took this out of the boat, wrong end, wrong end, let me work at it. Doesn't help it, it's under my foot. Uh, they cut the end off. Uh, however, it does appear that it's it appears to be a a uh, don't know if it's a nine pin or a ten pin cable. Now there's nothing in the center. It appears to be a a uh, a nine pin cable or a nine not a nine pin but a a nine wire cable. Now I'm not sure this is probably a a useful cable. If you if you take a look at the way uh, many people wire a boat yeah it's a uh, two four six eight nine with a uh, a center uh, appears to be rubber is probably a strength member uh, to provide strength in the cable now uh, my thoughts on wiring a boat is I would hook up one end to the motor, <laughs> this end, <clears throat> and the other end to uh, the, but I'd, I'd put a, a terminal block uh, in the console, um, and then I, I would cut the uh, cables to length 
uh, from the motor uh, through the the tube into the back of the boat through the through the floor of the boat up into the console and then I would put a a uh, terminal block on one side and then I put the remainder of the cable on the other side to the instruments uh, one it's a it's a breakout and uh, for you can you can do tests or modifications uh, other thing uh, it, it makes the installation neat uh, I mean, obviously the the red wire here is the power wire, but you can uh, you don't have excess cable uh, when you rig the boat. But we'll see what happens. So this is uh, one of the cables that was a little bit different. Now this should look familiar. That's the uh, ten pin motor end, and here's the other end. Uh, so this appears to be the end of the cable that was uh, derigged with a side cutter. So I do have both ends, although I prefer that it not be cut off at the motor end, but uh, I'll keep this. Uh, I've got a good, uh, good connector uh, for the control cable. So that's a positive. Well, I've got another one of these cables. Uh, appears they, they, derig the motors with a side cutter also i found uh, i've got uh, a broken wire that needs to be fixed in this harness and i look closer i don't know if you can you can see the black wire there but there's copper showing so i've got to fix these two wires um There's something else going on here. I mean, there there appears to be a, right here a nick in the insulation. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably fix it just uh, because because I'm going to need these uh, connectors and and probably the wires. The cable uh, can be spliced. We'll uh, see what happens. Okie dokie. Now along the way I found another cable. Seemed kind of odd. Uh, this, uh, this one had a tag on it. Um, basically uh, 704-825-9 zero dash ten turns out uh, this hooks into the control cable if you take a look at uh, I don't know if you can the got a lot of cables here I'll have to see there is a uh, here, you see the two ends mate, and they go in like that. So, this is the control cable right here that goes uh, from the console of the boat uh, back to the motor. Okay, got that there. Uh, this cable, in all of its little complexity... Um, actually ties into the throttle control and of course the throttle control is dual so all of these uh, right here plug into the throttle control uh, this appears to be a f uh, I don't know if you can f a fuse 20 amp fuse uh, I'm gonna have to see where that plugs in but these two uh, basically plug in to uh, each one of the control cables going to the uh, dual outboards. So uh, that was an interesting cable. I had to look that one up on the internet to uh, find out uh, what it was for. It was not uh, part of, believe it or not, the, the cable... 
is is these two cables right here the the cable seems to be internal to the throttle control and these two plugs which are these two are the two shown here so uh and this one's got to be uh retaped it's uh the tape if you take a look here the the tape is is coming off the wires it's a little dated need to fix that okay um fixing the the broken wires in the the control harness uh that'll have to be for part two uh we're down right now also part two we'll go over uh the binnacle that's the, the big thing right there also known as the throttle gear shift hooper doodle by some people uh and we'll go over the uh gauges and some of the the small little cables uh that remain in the box so i hope you enjoyed uh part one of this video on the yamaha uh rigging and we'll uh, follow up further in part two